those who want to marry, those who are called, the first thing that they need to pray for is a wife from God, a husband from God. When you're a pastor, you must have a wife. And you must be faithful to your wife. And you must love your wife. And even your wife, you must submit to her. If you underrate your wife, you've got a girlfriend in the church. If there's a lady in the church who's better than your wife, you have already fallen. Because mama must be here. Whether she's able to see or not, she must be doing something with you in the church. But now if you are just here and mama she's here and there's another one you trust here and this person is doing nothing in the church, something is wrong with you. You need deliverance. I'm praying that God can raise many ladies who can understand that their husband are called and who can also correct their husband. You understand? Not in a way of saying, I want to you capitalize on the mistake of the husband. No. You stand with him. When it's tough, you stand with him. If you can have a wife, that should be working and supporting, doing everything in the, in the ministry. And also respecting Respecting a husband, listening to the husband. If it's wrong, my husband, you are wrong here. You must not do this. I'm praying that we have people like this one that will be able to cook for their husband. You want a husband to do everything. This husband is the one who has to bring tea on the bed for you, like this. You're a queen. You are failing to take a, a tray. And you put things in my husband, today I want to do something. I'm coming. Your husband is sleeping. You surprise him. Ring. You. Your husband will be running around. If you sit there, you just say, yeah, I call the ring. The husband... <laughs> when the husband brings Coke, you say, ah, no, I didn't want Coke. I want Sprite. When the husband is going to take Sprite, you are thinking about a uh, uh, lemon twist. When he's running there, when he just grabbed the, the Sprite, you tell your husband, my husband, is there any Sprite, lemon trees there? He said, there's nothing. Ah, go to the shop and buy. Your husband you always do like this, like that. When you want, you decide whatever you do. You will never know who, what is a, to be a wife. You will never know what is to be a wife. The man will be just going like this, do it like that. Sometimes you take the, the water, wash your hands. <laughs> the husband, you are washing your wash, wash. wash your hands. Let's eat. The husband is looking at you. You are eating. So if you don't want to sleep, you watch TV. You don't want to sleep because you are running away from something. You want <laughs> the husband will just say, can we, can we come, let's sleep, it's late. He just say, I know. This story, the way it's going. <laughs> it's taking me to Bethany. <laughs> Sometimes you open the Bible, you are reading, you are not even reading, you, are just, you just want your husband to sleep. When he's asleep now, you go like this. <laughs> Think about you've got a wife like that. Before your husband come back, you cook food, you want to eat with him, you want to give him food. You make sure you eat before he comes. So, you go and enter the blankets. Honey, I'm back. The husband opened the door, he found you're in the room. Where is the food? Is there. There are some things, they don't need deliverance. You are planting it yourself. Yeah. You need to change the strategies and allow the presence of God to be in your house. Amen. If you don't allow the presence of God to be in your house, oh my God, I don't know what will happen. Very soon, you will stay together because of the children. Because some of you, you are in a marriage like that now. And you can't tell anyone why. Because parents told you, don't do this. 
this person is not the right person. Now you have entered now. And you prove Paris wrong. And you cannot go to Paris and say, I'm in the wrong place now. They say, we told you. Some demons we are bringing to ourselves. I don't know why I'm telling you, but I want to open your eyes today. There are some things that, you know, you can correct them by yourself. The moment when you enter marriage, if it's from God, and this lady is not getting a child, you can fight. What if it's the will of God for you? What about the promises of God? You will stand together and thank God. But look how you are fighting. Look how you are fighting. If you fight now, when you are double bedded, it's like this, another one is sleeping here, is facing there. Another one is sleeping here, is facing there. And Satan is sitting on the center. The whole night, you are sleeping with one side here. Very soon you have stroke. <laughs> hey, my side is no longer working well. No, you are failing to overcome anger. It's not your side, it's your anger. Hey, my side is hey, this side. No, it's you. When you sleep, you must change. When you become angry, say, sorry, I make you angry. You change, you hug your wife, you sleep, you turn. But because now you are failing to say you are wrong and you have got anger, demons will come and sit there and preach to you. These are the people I want to pray for today. This, I want to pray for you. Some of you today, you don't know what to do now. Are you ready for prayer like that? Eh? In your marriage. It's a wrestling place. Stop this thing. You are calling demons to yourself. So I will pray for you today. So these marriage problems, people, come now. I'm waiting for you. Come and study. Some of you already, you have got cases already. Some of you are influenced by the family now. The family say, Uska nyalao, mutuel, uska nyalao. The family now, they are telling you. But you meant to be together. Now the family has entered, boom. Stories left and right, left and right. My God, where are you going to end? There are certain things. You know what I want to pray for you people here? I don't want to pray for your marriage. I want to pray so that you'll be able to forgive. From here, you must be able to what? To forgive. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you for your people. Their hearts are broken because of Satan. Father, today, give them strength Give them strength to endure and to forgive. Father, all the pains of the past, all the plan against their lives, as they are lifting up their hands to you, oh, Father God, give them a heart to forgive. I pray that they will have a heart that does not have grudges. They will have a heart to forgive. They will stand for their marriages. They will withdraw to separate. They will believe it's you, God who are in that marriage, out of that shame and separation, out of that divorce, Father, unite them. Allow the differences to go away. Let them enjoy marriage from now. I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray for them to have a heart to forgive. Father, many are at the brink of losing that marriage. Many are the brink when they are tired. Oh Lord. 
release their hearts and cover these marriages with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you all stand there? Stand one side. All of you go there. One side. We learn from two or three. Pastor, there. who's the pastor there? This one there, yes. Let's hear the story also. Yes. You want to divorce, eh? Yes. So you can hear. Uh, I want to divorce because I'm tired. Because my wife, she's cheating. She's cheating? Yes. When you confront her, what is she saying? Uh, I Did was, you confront her? Yeah, I was suspecting her for many years. Until this coming December, he decided to visit his, 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 his family. And then I find out that she's cheating. And then when I ask her about him, he say he's a family friend. You know, the Bible allows separation when people are in adultery. You say you can do that like this. But you must be sure also. You cannot just go and question and then and you find they are together. They say, who's this one? He says, a family friend. You need to be sure these people are doing that. What are you saying about this? Uh, it's not to a man of God. Like I said, that person, is my, he was my cousin. We were in the wedding, so we took a photo. My He's sister, talking about my some... My sister, don't forget you are before God. Yes, man of God. You hear that? Yes. Don't forget you are before God. I don't want you to go here with a case. I want you to be delivered. Yes, man of God. Yeah, people like you cannot lie to me. And, uh, yes. You know, I just, for me to speak, I want God to help you. It's true, man of God. You understand? Yes. Because you've got this spirit. And then, uh, if you now, we just say, me, I can't do this. Uh, me, I've not done that. I, this one is my cousin. This one is my brother. This is my friend. And here, you could see what Satan is doing. Never want to destroy you. Let's leave the person. This man said, you are cheating. Yes, man of God. So are you not cheating? Let's leave this one. You are talking about. I Let's was, man of God. Don't say you was. You, you know you are starting stories now. Now you, you are, you are trying to defend yourself by this person, but you know you have this problem. Were you not cheating? It's true, man of God. So you want deliverance, isn't it? Yes. So, because you can never be free until you expose your weakness. <laughs> this is the main problem. That no, this man, he sent it and he found. But now, now he found this man. Now, you have to conclude that this lady is doing it. Whereas the she was doing there, one, two, three, four, five there. Now she found he found the wrong person. So now she can defend herself by this one. You understand? But what about this one? Remember that. Uh, I'm speaking with you, and God loves you. God wants you to be with this man. Do you want to be with this man? Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes. For man. you to come here today is, you know, is a good deliverance for you. It's a good deliverance for you. But if now you have to lie again, remember what I told you that you are before God. And then when you are speaking here, this is the spirit of last year. Because in your heart here, yeah, uh, this man can't satisfy you. It's, huh? it's, it's true. not true. It's true. So now, this is the thing that is taking you away from God. You'll be free today. Yes. So, brother, if she's asking forgiveness, are you forgiving her? Yes, I love her. You love her? Yes. Listen, I'm very happy for my sister. 
I don't want you to lose this marriage. In the name of this man cannot satisfy me. Now this man wants to divorce now. Did you try to make... Yes, already I divorced this, this, this last month. Already the paper is... Yeah, it's in the process already now. In the process now? Yes. What are you saying about divorce, sister? Do you love this man? Yes, man of God. I'm very happy for you. Brother, can you withdraw this divorce? I mean, uh, yes, David. Yes. Because, look here, you're a pastor, isn't it? Yes. Eh? Yes, I'm a pastor. Don't ever think that this attack is for this lady. This attack is for, your, for you. You hear me? Yes, David. When you are having a ministry like this, this attack, it has come to you indirectly. And then this attack is for the ministry. That's why the ministry will never grow. Yes. Is not true? It's true. So if the ministry is not growing, automatically the attack is for what? It's for you. Yes. So leaving this lady and go to another one is going to be the worst. Because having her and she's repenting like this before God. Everybody must repent before God. Yes. You understand? Yes. It's a breakthrough for you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It's a real breakthrough. Thank you. So, so I will pray for you. You people, you are free. God loves you. Hug. Hug your... Yeah. Huh? Hug each other. Uh, hey. Satan will show you. God bless you. You will enjoy your marriage. Let me touch you again when you are true like this. Uh, Congratulations, my brother. Rise up. Can you see people in the marriage fighting useless things? Look at this wonderful marriage. God bless you. My brother, let's allow the past to be the past. Yes, it won't be easy to sign again very quick, but God can help you. Yes, God bless you. You'll make it. You'll really make it. Okay. Let me pray for you.